So a lot of people have some confusion about the relationships between decibels, power, volume, adding extra subwoofers to your room. What does it all mean? How does it all work together? It's actually quite simple, but it can be a little bit confusing, especially given the fact that these things are not linear, meaning twice the power, twice the amount of drivers does not mean twice the volume. It's on a different kind of scale. And the numbers, while they're easy to memorize once you know them, don't make a lot of sense until you actually experience them and see them. So really simply, here are the three things you have to remember. The first thing is power. To increase your volume by three decibels. So let's say we're at negative 22 right now and we wanna to go to negative 19. Three decibels louder. I had to double the power coming out of this amplifier. Yes, that means if you are at that volume level and you wanted to go up 3 dB and you were pushing 100 watts, you now need 200 watts just to come up 3 dB. You can see how it very quickly will make any little amp or basic receiver run out of steam and necessitate going to a much larger amplifier. Now bear in mind, that's only gonna get you a few more dBs. And I think now you can understand why using efficient speakers, if volume is what you're after, be it because you like very loud sound or you're trying to fill a very large space, is paramount. Because if you try to match up inefficient speakers, such as these, which are only, oh, I think they're 87 dB, they're on the low side, they suck up the power. Compared to something very efficient, like most Klipsch, for example, which are in the mid 90s or above, that's an order of magnitude louder from the exact same power. So it's like going to a massive amp from a little receiver just because of the speaker's efficiency. So to go up another three dB plus six from your original starting point, you need four times the power. And to put all this in perspective, the perceived doubling or halving of volume is a 10 dB difference. So for example, if I was at negative 22 and I wanted to double the volume, make everything twice as loud, I need 10 times the power to do that. So if I was already pushing 50 watts out of a low end receiver, and I wanted to double whatever volume I was at, I would need 500 watts. You can, and it goes up from there. You can see you just critically run out of available power past a certain point. Now, the other big misconception people have is how much of a difference multiple subwoofers make in a room. A lot of people think they don't make a difference and it just changes the sound. And a lot of people think it doubles the amount of pressure and the amount of volume in a room. And hey, at first thought, that makes a lot of sense. Twice the drivers, twice the sound, right? Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, it's not a linear scale. The truth is in the middle. You get, in ideal conditions, a six dB increase by doubling the amount of speakers. So I've got two identical subwoofers here, PB16, I'm sorry, SB16. So used to saying PB because I've had so many PBs over the years and another SB16. They're both in their ideal locations. That of course is critical if you have one that's, you know, not in a great position and it's not working as well as it could be, well, your results will differ, but these are in their best positions. So let's see how they measure. So first up, we just have the right subwoofer turned on. Let's shut this one off, turn on the other one. Give that a measure. And 
turn them both on. And there you can see proper summation and about the predicted 6 dB increase just from adding the other speaker. So there you go. Hope that clears things up for people. It's not that hard once you know the numbers, but they are easily confused. See you next time.